Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how ClickUp works. So this is going to be a tutorial for personal use. But before we start, hurry up and check out all the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering, how do you use ClickUp here for personal use? Well, using ClickUp here for personal use, uh, other than for work, is actually pretty easy. You just need to utilize the proper tools and the proper organization tools here or organization skills for you to properly use it or fully utilize it for personal use. So as you can see, I'm already in my ClickUp account here and we already have a space here named for work. So since we want to use this for personal use, we want to create our own space for personal use or in this case for personal things. Let's go and click on create space here and maybe I want to say this is going to be per personal. Now in this case, uh, you could add any name here if you prefer it and the other way you can go ahead and do that and i also want to make this private here since i don't want other people viewing what i'm currently doing right now but if you want to share this to different friends for uh in this case you could go ahead and share this to your family members or your friends but i just want to use it for myself i'm going to uh, make this private and let's go ahead and click on continue now we want to choose the appropriate one here so since this is just per personal use i'm going to use the starter uh, option here or defy the workflow start uh, starter option so by default it's going to have the to do in progress and complete which is the basics one or the only thing that you need to uh basically use whenever you're using click up here just for personal use but if you were using this for work you might need some more complicated task statuses but again for personal use it's quite, quite basic here just use the basic or starter one here uh and what i like doing here here as well is i want to modify the default views here i also want to add calendar here and you could also use map or mind map here again depending on your uh preferences but what i like doing is i want the list board and calendar just to basically uh get me uh, uh familiar with the look for uh click up here but the more you use the app or the platform itself you could use other um views here like mind map and map here to further uh, further define what you need to do or just in case but for now let's go and click on done here click on create space create a space here we now have our space now in this case what we need to do next is we now need to create our structure so what I like doing here is I want to delete the list that was automatically automatically created here for me. And I want to go and click on the plus button next to personal here. And I want to actually create different folders because we have different aspects in our lives. I want to um, basically modify. Like for example, if you're planning a birthday party, you can just add birthday party here and basically add your statuses. So let's go and choose status here. So let's go ahead and inherit it from space. You don't need to change that. But if you want to use custom statuses, you can go ahead and do, use this one. But I want to inherit them. Let's go ahead and click on apply changes. And from here, let's go ahead and click on uh, the create button. You could also make this private if you want to, but it's going to inherit it by default from our space. So no worries on that. And from here, let's go ahead and create, or in this case, uh, do a few things. So in this case, there are going to be uh, different, or in this case, different tasks that you might want to do. Like for example, for a birthday party, you might want to uh, basically uh, first uh, rename the list here. So let's go and rename this. So maybe I want to say I'm planning for the, uh, let's just say the uh, invites. So in this case, you go ahead and enter them in here. So this is our first list here. And from here, we want to create a task here. So let's go and click on add task at the top right here. Maybe I want to say invite the following person. So let's just invite uh, Simon. And from here, you could add the due date here. And basically, maybe tomorrow I want to invite them. And you could assign this to yourself. And priority is going to be uh, depending on what priority. So maybe high priority here. And from here, let's go and click on create task. Now, you, you could also use the tags option here. Let's just say party. I'm just pressing enter from here. Whenever you type in party on your uh, uh, search bar here, it should show you this task here. Let's go and click on create task. As you can see, we now have our uh, task here. So in this case, uh, let's go ahead and add another section for our uh, birthday here. So in this case, uh, instead of birthday, maybe I want to say this is for my uh, task or in this case, let's just say this for my Task, general task. Like for example, if you have like daily tasks, weekly tasks that you want to do like chores, you could actually just create a new one. Let's just create a new list here. And let's just say there's going to be tasks. 
So let's just say daily and weekly here. And from here, we want to go and click on create. Now from here, uh, what we need to do next is we want to uh, basically uh, um, organize it further. Now, by the way, you could either create another like folder here if you want to, like if you have like sub folders that you need to, uh, or sub things or sub list that you want to create. You could you could create a folder here, but if you it's just direct a task that you want to manage, you could just directly create your own list on their personal here. But yeah, so in this case, let's go ahead and start adding a few things here. So the great thing about a uh, click up here is you could actually use or create a uh, repetitive task. Or if you have like a task that you want to repeat on a weekly basis or a daily basis, you could also create those. So in this case, let's go and click on add task at the top right here. And let's just say it is going to be, well, let's just say clean the house. So this is a uh, really um, <clears throat> uh, daily thing that you could do. So I maybe instead of clean house, maybe I want to say wash dishes. So let's go ahead and do something specific here. Now from here, let's go ahead and add this or assign this to myself. And we want to actually do the uh, use the due date here. And you want to set this to set recurring. So in this case, what we need to do is we want to actually do this on a, a daily basis. But in this case, uh, you could also when uh, change the recurring here. So when close, so in this case, trigger the recurrence when the task is moved to the last status. So when done. So you can also set this to when done. So whenever it's uh, actually set, it, uh, set to done, you can go and use that. And you also have the on schedule. So recur on schedule regardless whether the task is done. So in this case, I want to use done here. So it's going to uh, actually move it whenever I've actually done it. And from here, you can change a few things. Like, for example, we want to start uh, today here. And uh, yeah. So in this case, uh, you could also uh, close that if you want to. So let's go ahead and choose this one. So instead of today, again, we want to set to occurring here. And when I say, uh, I want to say this is going to be daily. And from here, we want to undone. You could also skip weekends here if you want to, but we want to do this every day. Let's go and click on save, save our changes, and let's go and click on create task. Now in this case, this task, since we've actually set this as recurring, it's going to be created automatically for us on a daily basis. So you won't have to add them on a daily basis here. Now also, you could, you could create your own, like for example, weekly task. So let's just say it is going to be a clean house option here. So it is going to be a weekly thing. So I'll assign this to ourself and we want to set the due date for set recurring and we want to say weekly here. So in this case, we want to uh, actually uh, do, so let's just go ahead and use uh, this one. So for example, every Tuesday or let's just say every Saturday, this is a great uh, say a day for us. Uh, we want to do or create this task here. So you could also create a new uh, duplicate task for every occurrence here, or in this case, the task will recur forever. So if you want to create like a new recurring task, every time you can just, just click on create new task here or recur forever. So yeah, depending on your options here if that you said. Now, in this case, uh, what we need to do is we want to basically click on the save button at the bottom right here, save our changes. And from here, you can set your priority here, whatever way, like for example, I want to say this is going to be high since we want to really clean our house on a daily basis. And also if you have like documents, they want to add the, uh, some, uh, for example, some task or certain descriptions or certain things that you want to keep in mind, you can also add documents here. Some reminders if you want to, chats, uh, if you want to add whiteboard, dashboard. So reminders is a great way for you to notify yourself, notify me here. So in this case, maybe I want to notify them, like for example, I want to say on due date itself and click on create reminder. And you need to enter the reminder theme. So, hey, do it. Let's just say this is going to be the reminder name. Click on create reminder. And that should actually create our task or our reminder here. But on, in this case, let's go ahead and click on add task again. So we weren't able to add our weekly task here. So let's go ahead and assign this to ourselves again. Due date is going to be recurring and it's going to be weekly. Every Saturday, create a new task here. And we want to go ahead and click on save. Priority is going to be high. And from here, let's go ahead and basically click, click on create task here. Also, let's just say house cleaning, uh, clean house. And let's go ahead and click on create task. Now, in this case, it's going to say to do here. 
So yeah. So in this case, uh, that's how you create your daily and your weekly task. So another way for you to organize your look here is I would recommend you to create another folder. It'll just give you an idea here. I want to create a folder here for just for tasks. And let's go ahead and click on create. And instead of creating one list here, you could go ahead and create uh, a list. For example, I want to name this as daily task. So let's go ahead and click on our name. Let's just name this as daily task. And from here, let's go ahead and create another task here, a list here that says weekly. So that whenever we actually look at our general dashboard, when we go back, uh, you should be able to have a, a, diff a different look for it. Let's go ahead and click create. And we want to go and uh, basically uh, change this. So in this case, let's go ahead and move this around. So maybe I want to move the clean or the wash dishes to daily task here by dragging it to daily task. I want to move the weekly task into the weekly task uh, list. Let's go and delete this one since we just deleted this one. So basically organizing your uh, daily tasks or for personal use would actually depend on how you want to organize your so it actually depends on your preferences actually but this is one of the ways for you to uh, basically if you uh, use it so whenever you actually click on task here it's now going to be organized on their daily tasks and weekly tasks as you can see right now which is a great way for you to view now another way for you to uh, manage or view your task is via the calendar view here Calendar view is something great here. As you can see, we have a different task here, like your current task here. We have a weekly task here, uh, basically on a specific date. So you can change a few things. So whenever you click on it, you can change like the time estimates, some tags if you want to. But yeah. So uh, yeah, so those are the basics on how to use it for personal use. So obviously, there's going to be a lot of things that you need to uh, organize here, like adding different lists, uh, categorizing, adding them in different folders, just to make sure that you have a proper view whenever you view the top or parent here. Like for, when we go to personal here, so when we go here, we have our task, we have our weekly task, our daily task. It's going to be organized perfectly when we uh, basically organize it in this way. But in this case, that's about it. So, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.